Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Baptist Nation. So delighted they could join us today. It was back in June of 2021 when I created this tutorial on how to set up Splash Boot videos in Batocera. Uh, and this guide was true, especially for those of you who use Batocera 31 and 32. With Batocera 33, turns out that developers have made things a lot easier for us users, especially if you're a PC user. Therefore, because of that, I've decided to do a follow-up to the tutorial. So let's go back to the wiki page for Splash videos. As you can see here, uh, there's been an update to the page itself. In fact, you're going to find here links to different Splash videos you can download for your use. You also will find here also Splash screen folders as well. In fact, let me go ahead and take you there right now. You can see here a number of Splash Boot images that you can use. For example, there's one right there. You can download by right-clicking it, saving it right there. And here's another one as well. Really nice. And it also has some seasonal images as well that you can also download, okay? Uh, besides that, I also noticed this for the very first time. We got here some new videos as well, splash videos as well. Uh, in fact, when you click on that, it will take you to this page right here. Uh, and from there, you can just go ahead and select that and open it. And from there, you can preview the video by also clicking there and going to play video, okay? fact or you can also go ahead and download it you can download as a standard download or as a zip file as well in fact, let me go ahead and give you a demonstration of two of these videos right here that's really cool let's go ahead and check the next one I really like that one a lot. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and download that one. Absolutely awesome. So again, uh, there are the links. I will be providing a link here in my video description, so check it out. So therefore, if you have about to set a system that runs on one of these boards, okay, now a lot from this video holds true. But again, if you're a PC user, then things are going to be a lot easier as well. So let's go ahead and load up Batocera. I'm going to show you the changes. I've been introduced in Batocera 33 and above. All right, so we're in Batocera, and that is the default splash video that you'll see when you first boot up Batocera 33. So let's go ahead and look at the changes. Press star on your gamepad or spacebar on your keyboard, and then go to up, go up to system settings, uh, and from there, you'll see it, splash settings. So now you have three choices, default video or user set splash. And by default video, that means the splash video that's included in Batocera 33. And you also have user set splash, okay? And that can include your own particular splash video that you want to use instead of about the set of 33 video, or it can also include an image. Now then, if you're using SSD drive, you will not be able to see the image as it flashes across the screen. It goes by really quickly, you really won't be able to see it. But if you're using a mechanical drive or uh, you're using a different type of about the set of system, uh, non PC, then you will be able to see the image as it splashes across the screen when it first boots up. Then you also have silent video user set splash. And once again, if you only have the splash video for Batocera 33, it will show that video, but it will play without any audio whatsoever. Or if you have your own video that you place in your folder, it will also play that video or random videos without any audio at all. And finally, uh, if you only want the initial splash image that pops up the very first time you boot it up, and that's the only thing you'll see. You won't see any other video. You won't see any other images. So let's go ahead and play around these settings. Okay, let's go back to the first one. And let's get out of this. Press F1 on your keyboard. And go into Share. And go into Splash. 
you can see that with the exception of the readme text is completely empty and as long as you keep it this way you will only see the splash video that's included with Bata Center 33. But let's say you don't want that video at all. Let's say you want to add your own videos. Well, you copy the video right here. So, for example, I've got uh, some, I got a backup folder. Uh, and let's say I want to copy this one and this one. Go out to my share, splash, and paste it. Now, when it loads up, it may either choose this one or this one as your splash video. Okay? And that's all you got to do. Let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see there, it's quite simple to do that. Now let's go back in there, System Settings. Let's go back to Splash Settings. Now you can also choose an image. Let's say you don't want any video at all. You'd rather have an image itself. Again, if you have an SSE drive or NVMe drive, you won't see it. It will go by really quickly. But let's try it nonetheless. Press F1. Let's go back into my backups here. And let's say I want this one, this Christmas one. Go into share, splash, and we just paste it there. And again, if you don't want no videos at all, just go ahead and delete those. And that's all we want to see, and that's it. Let's go ahead, close it out, and let's go ahead and reboot it. Now then, you can see there you saw two images. The first thing you saw was that about to set a boot image. That actually can be changed. I'm going to show you that a little bit later on. And the second image was the Christmas one altogether. Again, if you're running this on a mechanical drive or you're running this on a different about to set a system, you'll see that quite well. But if I freeze frame it, you can see the actual image itself. All right, let's go back into system settings. And let's go back into splash settings. So again, this is straightforward. If you don't want to play any audio, just select that. And finally, if all you want is just the boot image itself, the first image you see, not the second one or the video itself, then choose this one. And this is how it will play out. Alright, you can see that all you saw was the boot image and that's it. Now it turns out that you can change the boot image itself. In fact, I had people ask me this question when I created my first tutorial. Let me show you a little trick how to change that boot image altogether if you want to. Press F1 on your keyboard and let's go up to the root folder. Let's go to USR. Let's go to Share, Batocera. Splash. Let me go ahead and change the view here. All right. So there's a default boot logo for Batocera when it first boots up. Okay. This is in 1080p. You can change that all together. And you also have here smaller images for different Batocera systems as well. All right. So as we're using a PC, 1080p, we'll have to just change this one all together. So I'm going to go ahead and press F3, and let's go back over here, and let's go back to Share, and let's go to Backups, Video Snaps, okay. Here is my image that I want to replace. Let's go ahead and copy that, or oh, I can just drag it as well. Okay, it's right there. I'm going to go ahead and rename this one. I 
I just put back. All right, and this one I'm going to rename it to boot dash logo. Now you have to do one more step because if you reboot it, it's going to go back to this one all together. Okay, now I'll delete this one, go back to this one all together. So to keep it that way, now you have to go into applications, go into Xterm, and from there type Batocera dash save dash overlay. And that's it. Now it becomes permanent. Exit. All right, this one again, it can be anything you want it to be. Whatever image you want, you can choose. Just re make sure you rename it to the default name right here. All right, and that's it. Close it out. Let's test it out. Did you see that? We were able to change that. All right, and come back over here. Let's go back to splash setting, and we can also go back to like that. And let's go ahead and recopy those videos again. I'm going to delete this one. And let's reboot. How cool is that, huh? I think that's my new favorite splash video for Batocera. Absolutely love that video. Okay, so again, that's how it's done uh, in Batocera 31. Life is so much better and easier thanks to the developers who made this all possible for us in Batocera 33. So we really appreciate that. There's one last thing I want to share with you. There's a third image that appears on your screen when you first boot up. And that third image is related directly to your theme, okay? so. Let's go ahead and change this theme, for example. Go back to UI settings. Uh, and let's pick, let's pick platform, all right? Let's go ahead and reboot it. Restart. All right, so it's that image right there, okay? That's the image related to the theme. You can also change that if you want to. Uh, to do that, go ahead and press F1, and go into your themes folder, and let's go into that platform, and usually you'll find it in two different spots. For this one, it's found in Assets. Go to the folder Assets, and then look for Splash, and that's right there. That's the background image that you will see right before the menu pops up. You can also change this if you want to, okay? Make sure you call it background.jpg, all right? Uh, other themes have it in a different spot. So, for example, this one right here, Next Level Remix, that one is found in this one right here. Underscore INC. Click on that, and you'll see Splash. Okay, this one is named splash.png. So if you want to change that image right there, just go ahead and paste your new image and call it splash.png. Now, for example, I'm about to set a club, reload it, I couldn't find a default image, okay? So not all themes will allow you to change it easily, but a lot of things will, okay? So it's up to you how you want to do that.
Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from About to Set a Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel as well as a website about to set a nation.com. That will give you a great overview of what About to Set is all about and whether this is something that will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Batocera. As a matter of fact, next time I will be covering the new main updates, including Philips CDI. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.